Hello world, it is Victor Two Time, aka the Latin Swordsman. Yes, I made that up. Please don't steal it. And as you can see, man, uh, the particular setting, the background, we might have a Search Chronicles on our hand. Uh, I feel like it's been about maybe two months or more since I've done one of these, which is around the time a pretty big life changing decision happened in my life, and a lot of other other things happened to where I just I lost motivation, man, completely to do YouTube. I know I put out a lot of my Final Fantasy 16 uh, videos, which I'm actually happy I'm completed that one. That was a really long one, but that one's completed. Uh, it's been getting a lot of decent views, so that's, you know, I'm very thankful for that. Um, outside of that, man, um, joined the gym. So a lot of these videos, I guess I stopped doing them because I would take my pre-workout and hit straight to the gym. I wouldn't really, really have time to record and edit and then hit, head out. I don't know. Gotta make time for the things you want to make time for, right? I always say that like in any situation in any relationship where people say there's no time or i can't do this i can't do that that's total bullshit yes i'm cussing now i'm changing up the game i'm not holding back anymore you make time for what you want to make time for point blank period you know and if you feel that the things that you're making time for aren't benefiting you or giving you any peace of mind then let that shit go easy like at this point, in 2023, after, you know, so much death with COVID and everything else going on in the, in the world, it's like, if you're really going to sit there and put yourself and leave yourself in a situation where you're unhappy, where you simply can't find any joy in life anymore, and you're leaving, you're like, you're leaving yourself there. You're not doing anything to change it. Stop bitching. Stop complaining about it. Accept it. Or, you know, grab some courage and grab some bravery off the top shelf, make a decision and then move on and, you know, do something with your life. Easy, right? I will say that in the past two months, when the big change happened for me, I was on the verge of quitting my job. I was on the verge of moving back home with my mom. I was on the verge of, you know, selling a lot of my stuff. I was on the verge of doing a lot of things. But I didn't do that. Put myself together best I could after the situation happened with duct tape, glue, you know, super glue, gorilla glue, all that good stuff. I did what I could to put myself back together. And I'm still not on the other end of it, but at the same time, it's like you gotta step your game up. You gotta make the change. And if you don't, then stop telling people how you want things to change and then you don't change them yourself. Right? That's. So that's that's something I've realized. You can say all day long that you want something to happen. You want something to change. You want this for yourself. But if you actually don't go out and do it, if you actually don't make the, the choices, make the decisions to get what you want so desperately, then you're just talking out your ass. So yeah. For those of you out there that have made the hard decisions in your life, I commend you. Not an easy thing to do. When I made a hard decision two months ago, it was by far one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, but I came out on the other end, right? That light at the end of the tunnel was me coming out on the other end and I'm still myself. I didn't change who I was. I didn't degrade myself to be somebody that, you know, I'm not meant to be. I embraced who I was and I love myself that much more for it. So for anybody that comes across this video, I hope that you make the decision to find yourself again and to love yourself when it's all said and done. And before I go, obviously this is a Surge Chronicles video. Very serious one, I might add. But as tradition, we got the pre-workout. Let's see if we get any magic today. Will any magic happen in your life today? Let's hope so. The magic, right? Oh, uh, we got a little... A little some magic, a little decent magic. Yeah, a little decent magic. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and chug this when we give it a quick stir. Always get the remains. Always. Actually, I have a lot of water in this one. It's a lot. All right, man. So yeah, as I said earlier, hope you come out on the other end. Even if you run through the wall, cut scrapes and bruises, you still made it. Y'all say stay up in the battlefield.